I put my heart in every song. Maybe one day I will make it home. This one, my niggas is dead and gone. I ride for my brother, we breaking bones. Yeah, be mad, we take pain away. I ride with the knots, shit ain't the same. He got to that bag, they hate the change. Wish she ain't took the same for it. Streets was called my name today, man. I just wanna get paid today. I pop this perk and fade away. You hit with me and came to stay. Got some kills who told them big locks. Test ain't let no big shots. I can't go, I need that rich rock. Slow no ho, just slow that big rock. Bro, gon' blow, he ain't no bitch now. No rap, he ain't no snitch now. No cap, he knew them bricks out. Bro, bro, move, he pour that blick out. Mama, I need it. What's up everybody, it's Dion and I'm coming back with another video. If you're new to my channel, basically what I do is psychic readings. I basically hear, see, and talk to spirits. That's pretty much it. I mean, mostly it comes through visions, but I hear things like literally people just saying certain things. Or, you know, it's certain things. Like if a person is sad or depressed, you can see that and... They're trying to hide it, but it's like, you can't hide anything from me. People don't understand that when they project those energies so strongly, it's not just people being intuitive. It's just that those energies are so strong, you can pick up on it. That's what I believe happens to me in a different way. Because you ever know, like, you know when someone's giving you an all five and you know what's going on. But me, it's like, I could be looking the other way and it's like, oh, so-and-so is mad. And then I go ask him and it's like, are you good? And let me stop jabbering because I have a reading to do. I always seem to over procrastinate in the beginning, but listen, we're like a minute and 20 some seconds in the video. So yeah, another thing I wanted to say is make sure you subscribe to both of my channels. I know it took forever to say that, but make sure you're subscribed to both of my channels. And, yeah. But, her name is Daniela. I don't know how to say her last name because she's from Italy, but she's 34 years old. And this is the nurse that actually committed suicide because she felt like she was infecting people. Um, The way I found out, I always tell you guys the way I find out because it's just like, it's a beginning to the story you know what i mean but basically i'm on snapchat watching my regular stories because you know sometimes i like to update myself on certain apps that i haven't been on in a while and i'm watching the story and i'm like oh great this thing pops up but it's crazy seeing that picture the reason why it shook me so much is because i figured what i was doing but i think i was writing down the 397 thing and then I had a vision of the first news clip I seen, like just saying, oh, a nurse killed herself. Seeing that vision, seeing it yesterday, and letting it go, and then today, seeing that Snapchat, and then be like, you know what, must be a sign. Because... Might as well do it because there's certain things that I was seeing about the coronavirus that some people might not believe me, but it's okay. Whatever. You pick your own battles. Choose and believe whatever you want to. If you choose not to believe the truth, then are you playing yourself or do you just have some reckoning to do with yourself? But like I said, um, her name's Daniela. I don't know how to say her last name, but she is from Italy and i did write down the hospital that she worked at lamb it's something lamb but it's in i don't know where it's at in my book because i started writing this reading down on the wrong page on a reading that i already did but it was on the opposite side so i went to go flip to the next page and i'm like dang it this is a reading for someone else so that's like certain thoughts and questions or whatnot is not on my new pages the first thing that I saw was blood being extracted out the left arm. Um, actually, the way I seen it in my vision, because I know it sounds unrealistic, but I think it's certain things that spirit wants me to focus on that spirit is making bigger in my vision. Because yes, it was focused on the arm, but at the same time, the um, the needle that they were using was huge. Like, not the length of the needle, but the width of the part where the blood goes into, it was huge. Like, they were collecting a lot. And that's what I saw. I didn't see a face or anything. It was literally, like, the body, the arm. But still thinking about Daniela, I saw the words, new life, unexpected. 
New life unexpected. Oh, see, I'm confusing myself because when I first started this reading, I write down everything. I told you guys I write down my thoughts and stuff. But like I said, that's on my other pages and way in my book somewhere. And I can't find it right now. But I wrote down that spirit reminds me. And that's what I meant by the 397. Because after I saw the words new life unexpected, that kind of ties in the fact that this coronavirus came unexpected. And that everything just happened like that. But the thing that I'm trying to say is what spirit reminded me of was I was in someone's room today. And I was watching the news about the coronavirus, like just glimpsing at it from the side, talking at the same time. And we were talking about the coronavirus and I have a vision of, did I write it? Did I draw it? Mm, must be on my other pages. But I basically had a vision of the new screen and the whole thing was blank. But at the top, in this corner, in the right corner, it said 397. I knew it was about the virus, so I told her, I'm like, can you Google what 397 means? And she was like, what do you want me to Google specifically? And I'm like, just Google 397 and virus because I'm seeing something about the virus and I just want you to Google it. And she's kind of like tit for tat and I'm like, just Google it. So she Googles it and like, you know, my visions, I see that she's like, she caught something because I saw it at the same time. I'm just waiting, looking around in the absolute. She says, wow, there's been 397 cases in China since February the 21st or 22nd. But February 21st or the 22nd, she said, and she was like, we could have been had this under control, but no. Y'all knew about this 397 cases ago. And now y'all want to spend trillions of dollars of our money that could have went to school funding and things like that. And people are dying left and right when you knew about it. You know who I should channel that the government definitely would have liked? The doctor who warned us in China. Yes, that would be crazy because, you know, he definitely has some things. and <clears throat> But, yeah. But let me keep getting into this reading because I feel like it's a mixture of her and just awareness about certain things, like the visions that I was having. So to be honest with you, I was seeing things months ago before it really hit the U.S. And I just wanted to throw that out there, you know, because when it first came out, let me just let me just read my stuff because I'm telling y'all too much. Um... So I did write questions. I just wrote the word questions because I didn't translate all those questions. It was just me asking basic questions. And the reminder, this could be for another spirit at the time. We know that. But I believe I was looking at pictures. But these are the words I saw. Um, spirit keeps going over the words same hand gesture, hand gesture. But I'm gonna get down to that. Just remember that an orb went over it. And for some reason, we keep being reminded about this same stuff. Maybe it's because y'all need to cover your mouths properly and cough in your elbow. I saw the words overdose. And I was thinking about my question. I saw the word answer. And then I wrote that I saw a woman coughing. Actually, yeah, I wanted to describe it better. But what I saw was like a woman a light-skinned woman and she was coughing like this that's that hand gesture and she's like she has her hand she's like kind of like hunched a little bit but she has her hand on the man in front of her like on his back and I kind of drew it like that's her in the back and that one thing with the one arm is the man and why you see it looking like a triangle because I tried to draw her hand up to her mouth covering it and then reaching out to his back touching him like like a the way I saw it it was kind of like a walk type of thing like we're in line type of thing like please or like I don't know just I would just say like they're in a line or they're walking through a crowd and you're like trying to push somebody. Like you get what I'm trying to say? Oh, I know why I seen that. I just have to read everything because I knew that it had to do with other people. But specifically, when I saw that woman coughing, I saw the word others. 
as in others were getting sick, as in more people in the hospital, I thought others as in nurses. Do she mean nurses? Because the woman that I saw, I know it sounds a little cliche, but you know those little outfits that the nurses would wear back in the day? She had like a white dress. She was just in a white dress. That's how I saw her. But it wasn't too short, but it was a white dress. And she was coughing. But I wouldn't say she was a nurse. I'm just saying that it reminds me of someone that looks like a nurse from back then. But I wouldn't say she was a nurse. I'm just saying that it reminds me of someone that looks like a nurse from back then. But that's basically what I saw in seeing the words others. Hmm. But, and then that's when I was thinking, how does she know that she's the one that was passing it? How does she know the possibilities of it being her if she was, like, really sick? But me thinking these questions I heard she had a fever and then that's when I seen someone doing the same hand gesture that's the word that the orb went over and it kept going over the word hand but same hand gesture it flew right over it but I basically saw what looked like a man sitting on one of those hospital beds coughing like this like really hard but I saw the words coughed face like he coughed in someone's face when spirit showed it to me it looked like this like one of those like you didn't really or like you was uh, that's exactly what it looked like I'm not even trying to be exaggerating but I have to read everything because I don't want to miss anything then that's when I saw those scalpels that's what you call them would you call them scalpels but that's what I saw on like one of those trays and I know I drew the little knife I saw going this way but in reality it's that way I just really can't draw sometimes and, um, I know it's weird, but the way Spirit shows you things gets really up close and personal. But basically, I knew that I might as well just describe what I saw. It was like seeing the scalpel, the knife thing on the tray, and seeing, like, spots. Spots, like residue, like clear residue. what's dirty and spirit's showing you this these dirty utensils and you're just like you know but let me show it to you can y'all see that i didn't want to make it too big because it was a little unrealistic so that's why i put in a little black but that's basically what i saw i had one of the weirdest visions of someone basically like not collapsing but he looks like really tired but um in the picture that I'm gonna insert from the snapchat that I saw I kept seeing that same person now I don't know if they were disrespectful enough to put her picture up there in that little um cover photo but whoever that person was I saw the words well honestly I want to say this in order but I saw a low heartbeat on the monitor like, I saw the monitor and the fact that it had a little heartbeat. And then that's when I saw the words dying. And then that's when I want to read it because it has to do with things that I was thinking. But, yeah, I'll read it later. But basically, after I saw that, those words like dying and seeing the little heartbeat thing, then that's when I saw that the nurse that was the female nurse that was in front of the male nurse, like there was two nurses in that photo, as you guys can see. But, um, I saw that she was really scared and I was thinking about something along the lines of passing it to people as like nurses, just like Daniela here. But I saw that she was scared of passing that to the ones that she loved, not even the ones that she loved. The fact that she had, it was me thinking along the lines that dang, these people have important people at home that they have to care for. They're possibly bringing home the coronavirus. So I saw that she was terrified of those same things. 
Like, it wasn't her expression. Then that's when that man that was in the picture as well, after I saw that lady, it's like spirit zoomed up really close on his eyes. And the way his eyes were baggy, I just see the words tired. The way his eyes were baggy, he looked a little exhausted. I drew it. I kind of took my time a little bit. But that's basically what I saw. And the eyebrow represents his frustration that I saw in the vision. But that's like how deep his bags were when I saw them. And I know it's not the same in the photo. But that's how spirit represents things to me. But um. Did y'all see that word that I wrote by the eye? The, the hang herself thing? I saw that when I was drawing the eye. And I wrote that down that I was um drawing and seeing the words hung herself not hung herself but hang herself that's scary bro i couldn't think about doing that to myself i mean so many people are catching it and yes it's a high possibility if you have pre-existing health issues that you could get really ill but i really doubt you would die from it and one thing that the news isn't saying is that people aren't dying like they say they are more people are getting sick in general than they are dying and i feel like the places with the less health supplies are the ones that are getting hit the worst the places with the less um sterilization and quarantine and with the like i said the worst health supplies are getting hit the worst like they just are they have they don't even have the proper beds and everything like these hospitals are getting duped and when it's too much for the hospitals then what are we going to do because now it's too much for the stores because people are going to get sick and try to stay home and quarantine themselves and then they have to take care of themselves and now they're passing it off to the cashiers you see what i'm saying i saw canada like a canada flag and i think it's in canada i think but i'm not sure but i think it's in canada but I just saw a Canada flag, but it was quick. And then that's when I saw the words 934, and I will insert a screenshot. Because I feel like this is more personal for you guys. Um, me inserting the screenshots like showing exactly what I was doing but um basically I searched 934 and virus and basically 934 more cases or something like that it was just surprising and it happened a day ago I believe I think one was posted today and one was posted yesterday but the fact is that this number is new you know just like the what was it 397 I think I said but yeah hopefully you all paused on a little screenshot so y'all can read for yourselves and I even will post a screenshot of the one that I actually clicked so that y'all can read it and understand why um I'm telling you certain things later in my reading but and then that's when I wrote down that I understand why she was in a panic because the fact that so many people are getting sick and the fact that where she was was like a hot spot in Italy. I don't like hearing noises when I'm doing my readings. So it kind of like caught me off guard. Because I think people being nosy. Okay? And I like my privacy. But then that's when I wrote down a question. Did she not... And then that's when I saw the words, yes, think of her loved ones. And then that's when I saw the word sister. And then that's when I kept asking the same questions. Because I, like I said, the questions that I asked are questions that people might ask me um, in the comments. Or that they want to know in general, things I want to know, things like that. But I was like, what did you see in the hospital? Like, But I saw the words death rise that she was wit witnessing. A lot of death and an orb went over the words that a child was sick because that's the um the next phrase after this um bullet point is the fact that i saw a child sick and 
the child was coughing. Like everyone else in my visions that I saw, they were like coughing the same way. But it was more closed. When I saw that man, I specifically saw it like this. But they're all like this. And that's when I wrote down that when I first discovered this virus, there were certain things that I was thinking because I knew I was going to make a video. I knew I might make a video one day. If it was a month later, two months later, doesn't matter. I knew I was going to make a video, so I was like, you know what? Hey, spirit, where does the coronavirus come from? And guess what I saw? Meat. It looked to me like some type of packaged bacon or whatever, but it was meat. And then that's when people want to tell me, oh, they're getting it from animals. Girl already knew that like a week ago before the news posted it. That's why you got to be careful what y'all eat. Them little restaurants, they don't be washing their hands. Trust me, I worked in restaurants before and them places, when you have a manager or your boss yelling at you because you want to change your gloves so much, red flags. I had like rashes on my skin. Like I told you guys, I think I told you guys or I cut it out of my video, but I have really sensitive skin. And anything that's dirty that touches me makes my like skin break out. Like I would... Embarrassing story, but long story short, my whole neck broke out and it was like that for a while. And the rest of my body does that too. And um, I'll insert a picture of how nasty my arm looked, but it was incredibly irritated. Like I said, I would not trust these restaurants because it also depends on who's working there. Like he even said it himself, Deanna, when you're working here, the place is much more cleaner. And that's part of the reason why I quit because that's disgusting. You're not going to be talking to me like that and your restaurant isn't even clean and I have to clean it. You're not paying me for that. And that's what angers me about the coronavirus is because I know that these restaurants are not taking the certain precautions that they need. At least certain restaurants are not taking these certain precautions that they need. Like the way I was in restaurants, I implemented change because they weren't they were just regular people doing regular things that they did in their kitchen without the proper training. And no, we can't be doing that because it's nasty. You cannot be cutting salmon next to the mango, boo. That's how the coronavirus has been spreading in China. Oh, that makes me so mad because if people were just a little bit cleaner and washed their hands and stopped doing this and all this and, and you know your hands are dirty. Whew. Sorry, I just went on a rant. But after I saw that about the, well, after I wrote that down about the meat, I was asking, like, what advice does she have? What type of advice does Daniela have for those who are experiencing this pandemic? And what I saw was take medicine. Take medicine. I saw, um, and I saw the words vitamins. I'm not about to leave that out because I saw it again when I said medicine. But, um... I saw what looked like NyQuil being passed this way in, in like a cup, but I'm guessing, you know, if you feel like a little bit of symptoms or anything like that, like a common cold, get rid of that immediately. Drink your tea, knock it out because you don't want to be sitting there thinking, oh, I can take this naturally. It's just a regular cold. I ain't had no contact with people. Girl, you need to take your vitamins and stop stocking up on the Doritos at Walmart. And, oh, I see someone disliking. I just see the dislike button because I'm talking crap. Oh, click off my video if that's how you feel. Like, if you don't like it, watch something else. Skip through. You can always fast forward the video. Let me just continue with the reading. Then that's when I was asking, like, why did she kill herself? Because I asked questions, like question after question after question. But I saw the words, same gloves. <laughs> now, I'm not trying to exaggerate that. But I really only paused like that because we went over what was it like. But I'm going to finish reading um, that part where it was like, what was it like? I was thinking, like, did she infect other people because she wasn't changing her gloves frequently? 
was she not as clean? That's why I mentioned the restaurants because it's like, was certain precautions not taken? Like, you know what I mean? Why well, see the words same gloves? Same gloves. And Orb just went over the day that she quarantined herself in the house. Like I told you guys, I'm trying not to like get too in depth into the new spectrum. So I went on like two little phrases and that's where I stopped and continued looking at pictures. But, and also, one of my questions that I had, I had to um, search up something about um, spreading drinking. I saw the word spreading drinking. Drinking, spreading, like, I was like, is it spreading through water? Is that just mouth, like, you drinking off somebody? But, mm -mm. yeah, just thinking that these nurses aren't taking the right cleaning precautions and are infecting themselves. Like, honestly, why see the word same gloves? Why see the word same gloves? You Let's say, oh, I'm going to this paperwork, and then I go in the bathroom, and then I come back out, and I got on the same gloves. You know what I mean? Same gloves. Are, you know what I mean? But then I was thinking, like, what was it like for her? Thinking that she must have been in pain. And then that's when I saw the person that was laying on the bed. You know what an orb just went over? Like, I stopped like that? Because it went over the word take medicine. But, um, when I was thinking of what would it have been like for her and the pain that she was in, I saw the person that was on a ventilator in that picture. I saw that person again with the little heartbeat. And then that's when I continued thinking of her condition. And then that's when I saw the word severe coughing and the word sweating. And then that's when... I had a vision of the um the date that she went into quarantine. Well, spirit reminded me of it. It's not like oh I saw March tenth out of the blue. No, I saw it on one of those little phrases, and it said that she went into quarantine in her house on March tenth, and people didn't um people didn't check on her or like see if she was okay. But during that time, she did commit suicide. And I was thinking, was she having a mental breakdown? And then that's when I saw the word same gloves again. And then I was like, were there sterile conditions that wasn't being met and you infected other people? That's the real honest question. You know why I said it like that? Because I just hate hearing other noise. But like, I was writing down, this is what I was writing down. Do you see it? I hope you do because I can't see it. <laughs> but it says real and then it says I heard. Did I hear it or did I see it? I cannot remember. But I think I saw it. It was real and then the word honest and then question. Real honest question. Like spirits telling me like, you know, it's an honest question as you're asking. But me saying that's the real question and then writing real and then seeing the word honest. So I just thought to, you know, it makes sense. And to not hide certain things because certain things might actually make sense. Because even though I'm writing, yeah, that's the real question, but it's an honest question. It's one of those questions that made me have a vision of something else I saw. And then that's when... I was Googling the thing about the drinking water that I saw. Well, not the drinking water, but like spreading, spreading drinking. I came upon this website and I was reading it. And basically, they did say it can't pass through water, I think. Basically, I saw the word no. Like it can't pass through like the sewage system and things like that. And then on there... I remember when I was cleaning the bathroom because when I heard about this coronavirus stuff, it just made me start breaking down like, mm -mm, we need to start cleaning. Not even we, because I'm the person, I'm the only person that really deep cleans this house. But I was like, I need to clean the bathroom. I need to sterilize. I need to do this and that because I'm not catching no coronavirus. Mm -mm. 
when I tell you it needed bleach, honey, it needed bleach. And guess whose idea it was? Because I was using some Fabuloso. I think I was using Fabuloso. It was some type of um, all-purpose cleaner. And then I felt like it wasn't cleaning good enough. And then that's when Spirit was like, show me the word bleach. And I was like, okay, I'm not about to fight. We're going to use this bleach. And guess what it said on the website? Things that fight the coronavirus. It's a... I just know it said bleach, but I'm gonna insert the screenshot. Hopefully I screenshotted the right thing because it said bleach, some type of hydrogen, I think. It's just certain things that kill the coronavirus on contact. And seeing that, not I just thought that regular cleaning supplies would kill the coronavirus or any virus. Seeing that they're saying specifically bleach and certain things and that spirit was like, girl, you need to use some bleach because if you clean the way you want to clean, you need to use some bleach, okay? But I want to finish it with the last thing. And I know you guys might not believe me and I really don't care who doesn't believe me because <laughs> I know the truth. But um, I'm not trying to sound too smart like I'm being a smart ass. But... Like, I really did see this a long time ago. Like, when I was asking about where the coronavirus came from before anybody knew, I was like, okay, now where is the coronavirus going to spread? And when I first saw it on the news that I was right, I was like, oh. I was talking to about um 397. It was the same person. So I'm like, we're watching the news together. And I'm like, oh, that's the same thing. Thing I saw exactly how it is. I knew that it was going to be on this side predominantly and on this side predominantly. But nothing was in the middle. It was just on my side and the other side of the United States. But this is basically what it looks like. It's basically what the news is showing y'all now. I might as well just screenshot it and just put it in the thing because it's basically what I'm trying to show y'all but my thing is why did it spread like this why are these places not being affected like knowing that I seen that weeks and weeks and weeks and weeks ago is playing out exactly how I saw it happening oh I see cases growing like on my side where PA is, but like coming over at the top of the um the map. I don't know how to describe it, but I felt like you guys were gonna be like, girl, that sounds so cliche. But that's really what I saw. And it's kinda sad because to be honest with you, I didn't know the severity of the coronavirus for some people who have health issues. But seeing that it spread like the way I said it was going to spread and that people are dying by, it's not like a lot, a lot of people, but it's thousands of people. And I'm only saying it's not a lot, a lot of people because suicide kills more people every year than the coronavirus did and then the flu do. Or it might be the same number, it might be the same percentage, I'm not sure. But I know it's way higher than the coronavirus, but we don't talk about that. And it really upsets me the fact that they knew for such a long time. Like I said, when she said February 21st or 22nd, it just really made me upset because I'm like, wow. And it definitely does hit you 10 times harder, like I said, when I'm channeling, um, not even when I'm channeling, but like when I was channeling the other girl in my last video, Giovanna, I told you guys that it hits 10 times harder when what you see actually does come into into fruition it's not like i don't expect it but when it's something bad it's like damn you know like when i saw that map when i saw that map you guys my mouth dropped but um seeing the word more cases and then seeing the word per don't know what that has to do with anything but um yeah that's really all I have for my video. Make sure you like, comment, and subscribe. And I did save this for the end because these are for the real troopers who watch my videos for real. Um, if you are following my other channel or if you are planning on following my other channel or buying or whatever the case may be, 
If you subscribe to my channel, at Frequencies Collection, and you are one of the first 20 subscribers that are subscribed to my channel and you do decide to order from my website one day, maybe not today, maybe not next week, maybe not next month, you know? But if you ever decide to order, you have a 25% discount at the door on your first order. Yes, I said it. And I really wanted to say that for the end because I feel like people would have low-key ran with it if I would have said it in the beginning. Like, oh my god, first 20 people, first 20 people. No, if you would have watched my other video, like I told you to do, because I was saving the real tea. I'm not coming at you if you didn't watch it, because I do the same thing. If you would watch the video like I told you to, you would see in the description that I mentioned the discount that I was offering to the first 20 people who subscribe to my channel now i am offering an abundance of things like whipped body butters rose water and himalayan bath salt what else clay mask and since i've been using the rose water i sprayed it on my face today once but that's i stopped using oils and stuff on my face when i started using the rose water because it was no point because it moisturized and penetrated my face so well you know what you know this ain't for this channel this ain't for the, <laughs> this ain't for this channel this is for the other channel if you want any details you need to go to that channel because it won't be on this channel if you want to see any other life updates then i won't be on this channel it'll be on the other channel and if you want to know then you won't have to you know what i see i see that some dislike some dislike well, you know what I think you should do? I think you should mind your business, drink your water, and stay in the house and wash your hands. Because that's the only thing you need to be paying attention to. All that in Hatersville, all that hate and hate, hate, hate. Like, I don't understand. That's like what I was saying about the... This video is 42 minutes long. Oh, my God. That's like what I was saying about, like when people see one comment that's bad and they all feel like they need to say the same thing like baby you don't if you don't like it walk away like that's something we all had to learn and i'm only 19 years old and i'm thinking way past these people who are starting a drama in their 40s like people really be trying to argue with me and i'm like girl i do not have the energy like sometimes you don't want to let things go because you feel like you're being attacked but then at the same time it's all about your energy. That's why I don't pay attention to some things. And I'm grateful for the small things. And the fact that I'm blessed. Because some people overlook life so much that they don't appreciate the small things. Or they're just so negative. Like, it just doesn't make sense. Like, there's a certain point in your time... And the life that you have lived in your 20, 30, 40 years, that, you know what words I see? Motivational speaking. But, <clears throat> seeing that vision really throws me off. At this point, you guys know what I'm doing. I'm just talking to you guys and telling you other things that I see. And just basically talking. But really, that's the end of the video. Like, comment, and subscribe. And make sure you go subscribe to my other channel. And update yourself on things if you have certain questions, you know, because I am posting more. I will be frequently on YouTube. That's why I'm posting this basically. Has it been two days since I posted my last video? But yeah, I got right to it early in the morning. You know, the early bird catches the worm. Can't wait all day. But yeah, I hope you guys liked the video and have a good morning and a good night wherever you are.